Hey, I'm Dave, and this is the Print Drag. What is the print drive and why would you care about it? Well, one of the most common concerns about 3D printing in general is filament storage. Where are you gonna store it? And is it going to absorb moisture where you store it? Essentially, all filaments absorb that moisture. Nylon, amongst the worst, absorbs 4% of its weight actually in water. That means as you're extruding, you're also exploding water all over the place. That decreases surface texture in any of your prints, can clog nozzles, and certainly reduces any layer adhesion that's trying to happen with those little explodey surfaces. So the print dry is here to solve that problem. The print dry is really easy to use and should certainly be considered for any maker's arsenal when 3D printing. Let's take a look at some of its features. There's a selection dial so you can choose the temperature. Each filament may need to be dialed in for a certain temperature to make sure it's dry before using it. It can hold multiple spools. Actually, right now we have one of the larger five pound spools in it. And you can print directly from it. It's got little grommets out the side that allow you to print straight from the print rack. Filament storage is definitely something you should be conscious about and super aware of. We here, when we print with nylons especially, actually use a drying oven, a vacuum oven that sucks out all the moisture and all the air, keeps at a little bit elevated temperature. This is essentially the home version of that kind of more expensive equipment. You should store your filament in here and that can be stored all of the time. You can keep it on, you can keep it off, but also you can regenerate filament. So if you have filament that's actually been stored outside and maybe picked up some moisture, kick it in here for a little bit before you print, and then it becomes very dry, super easy to print with. Overall, the print dry is so easy to use, it certainly is a must have for every maker, especially if you're using those hygroscopic materials. That's the ones that love to drink water out of the air. PETGs, for sure, nylons, the most hygroscopic material that's used in 3D printing, and even the flexibles, a lot of the TPUs love to drink up that water. This will increase your print quality, make stronger parts, and overall better 3D printing experience. To learn more, to get one now, go to matterhackers.com. Thank you for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all of our videos. And remember, go to matterhackers.com to shop for everything 3D printing.